children, Jesus is real. An encounter with Him is a unique and personal experience that will bring about change in our lives. I remember when I was seven, I first heard the good news of Jesus in school. The guest speaker said, If you want Jesus in your heart, stand up. I felt a tug in my heart and picked up courage to stand while the rest of my friends were seated. As I stood, I felt a warmth flow through me. It was like Jesus giving me a big hug. Soon tears streamed down my cheeks and I felt a special joy as I said to Jesus, come into my heart. That was so memorable and a life-changing encounter with Jesus for me. In our series, Encounters with Jesus, we learned that when Zacchaeus, a chief tax collector and a cheater, encountered Jesus, he became a generous giver. When the Samaritan woman, someone who was scared and avoided people, encountered Jesus, she became bold and spread the good news about Jesus with everyone. Mary, the sinful woman who anointed Jesus with her tears, with her most precious perfume, experienced true love, acceptance and forgiveness when she encountered Jesus. Let's see who encountered Jesus next. Well, let's listen to the story. After Jesus died, His disciples hid themselves because they were scared. On the day Jesus rose from the dead, He appeared to them. They were so happy to see Jesus alive. Jesus showed them the wounds in His hand and sighed so that they would know it was really Him. However, Thomas was not with them when Jesus appeared to the disciples. The disciple told Thomas that Jesus has risen from the dead. But Thomas didn't believe them. Thomas nope. said, I won't believe unless I see the nails wounds in his hand, put my fingers in them, and place my hand in his wound in his side. Eight days later, Jesus appeared to the disciples again. This time, Thomas was with them. Jesus told Thomas to touch his wounds and see for himself. Thomas was amazed and declared, My Lord and my God! Jesus said to Thomas, You believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who believe without seeing me. That's right, children. What else can we learn from our encounters with Jesus? Well, even if I cannot see Him, I can trust Him. When Jesus died on the cross, His disciples were very sad and scared. So they went into hiding. Now when we are afraid, we might hide or run away. But it's important during times like this to remember that we can talk to Jesus about our fears and ask Him to help us feel safe. Amidst their fears, Jesus appeared to His disciples after He rose from the dead and they were filled with joy and amazement. But Thomas wasn't with them when Jesus appeared and he didn't believe them. Now, it's hard to believe something that we can't see for ourselves, right? But you know what? There are things that we do believe in, even when we don't see them, like the air that we breathe, the bacteria on the ground, the wind, electricity, or how about the sun that will rise tomorrow? Trusting without seeing means having faith in something or someone even when we can't see or touch it. When we accept Jesus as our Saviour, He promises to always be with us. When we are fearful and in doubt, we can believe that He is with us even though we can't see Him with our own eyes. Jesus says in our Bible memory verse, Blessed are those who believe without seeing me. Taken from John chapter 20, verse 29. Jesus says that we are blessed when we believe without seeing Him. So what happened to Thomas? Even though he doubted, Jesus appeared to him. And when Thomas encountered Jesus, he acknowledged Jesus as his Lord and God. He said, My Lord and my God. So children, may all of your encounters with Jesus help you recognize that Jesus truly is God and may you strengthen your trust in Him. Amen. Jesus is real. 
He wants to have a personal relationship with each one of us. I remember when I was preparing for my A-level examinations, I was very concerned and worried that I would not be able to finish studying and do well. Now, as a new believer, I didn't really know how to pray. But I remember that prayer is talking to God. So I talked to God and pray that He will help me with my examinations. And as I was reading the Bible, John chapter 14, verse 27 just spoke to me. It says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. At that moment, I felt God's peace and assurance that all will be all right and that I don't need to worry or be afraid because He is with me. Thank God! As I trust in Him, I managed to do well to get into university. Now children, just as Jesus met with me, Jesus met His disciples, His followers, in their doubts and fears also. We can ask Jesus to help us believe in Him and trust Him that He is always with us. Children, just as Jesus is with me, Jesus can be with you. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, when I am afraid, I can trust in you. Help me to believe and trust you even when I cannot see you. I believe that a personal encounter with you can change my life. I want to encounter you. In Jesus' name, Amen. 